possibly one of the most anticipated videos of the calendar year. Certified ball sprayers, black bottle edition, 10 designer fragrances that are certified ball sprayers, so you need it in your repertoire. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can get into this list, because these are certified to spray them nuts. Bless the morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C3U to the B to the A. Let's jump right into this. These are in no particular order and literally minus like one bottle. They all black bottles. So I'm going to call this the black bottle edition designer list. These are 10 certified ball sprayers, compliment getters, panty droppers, date night appropriate, sexy time vibes, throw on a little loofah or sade, spritz it in the air, get them silk pillowcases ready, make sure she got her tubi on, and let's get nasty. The first fragrance that was a really, really nice surprise that I didn't think I would like because the bottle looks a little funky is by the house of Philip Plime, and this is no limits like my credit card no limit no wait my credit card has reached the limit that's what it is yeah yeah yeah. chocolatey spicy just cuddly leather woody oud vibes cardamom slightly peppery this is a phenomenal not too expensive designer fragrance that is certified for the ball sprayer squad this is incredible a lot more bang for your buck in this bottle than I could have ever anticipated and completely unique from anything else in my collection. Very, very well done, Philip Plime, except for the bottle, but you are a little eccentric and I fuck with you heavy. Next one. I must admit, this one isn't my favorite from the line, but it's still a certified ball sprayer. My favorite would be the platinum version, but when this one came out, I really liked it. It did what it had to do. It had a crazy sex appeal factor and it's definitely a certified ball sprayer, which you can find for a decent price, and that is Coach for Men. Yeah, come on, man. This shit's got pear and kumquat in it. If it got cum in it, you already know what time it is. Leathery sex appeal, bright citrusy, slightly sweet, has all those little nuances that you're looking for in an inexpensive fragrance, and it's by Coach, so it's got the little waist tag, so if you want to be corny, put this shit on your belt with some matching Tims and you all on the move. Certified ball sprayer, though. Next one. The next fragrance took the internet by storm when it came out, because it was so... It, I think it was $25 or $20 when this joint came out. Super budget, but a definite certified ball sprayer and a bang for the buck if there were ever anyone and this is rich warm addictive by Zara this is still hit crazy honey sweet dark rich warm addictive I believe this also had a bit of a like a coconutish vibe or coconut milk kind of vibe a little suntan lotion essence yeah, this is super fire, super fire. Great performing. I don't know if you can still get it. Might be on the secondary market a little bit pricier than it was on retail, but still a phenomenal fragrance and definitely certified. Next one. Everybody knows what time it is when it comes to this fragrance. Blue, this Chanel, only this is the Parfum version. This is absolutely a certified ball spray. Everybody knows that Blue de Chanel make the panties a little moist. God, I hate that word. Said it time and time again, I'm not the biggest blue to Chanel ambassador, but when you're going to pick one, you pick the one that you really enjoy. And for me, it's the Parfum. There is no other one that will do anything for me. This one for me is the more masculine, the more mature, the more bodied one that really does amazing on my skin and is absolutely certified. Sexy as shit. Forget the EDT, forget all of them. The Parfum is where it's at. Next one. This one's the only one in the collection that isn't black bottle worthy, but it's absolutely certified ball sprayer worthy. Platinum Chanel Cologne and Egoist. Classic. Man's man. Versatile. Universally known. Wearable on all occasions, all seasons, all temperatures, all vibes. If you're looking for a quintessential 90s man in a bottle, I think Platinum Chanel Ego East should be in the mix. Certified ball sprayer. Ooh, next one. The next fragrance is by the house of Versace, and that's Oud Noir. Mm. 
extremely wearable oud, very, very sexy, definitely colder night date, holding hands, walking through the park, a little horse ride that the horse smells like shit and some dude farted in the seats before you jumped on the cart, but it don't matter because you with your loved one. Slightly sour, a little peppery, you got that oud vibe, that super designer is and wearable, then you got a little leather nuance, you're talking about some but other than that, the combination of the fragrance is absolutely stellar. Really wearable designer oud, and I think a great stepping stone when you want to get into the oud space with some balls, but a little designer flair that really will make her mm, next one. But I can't lie, jumping into the designer oud space, this one is a strong contender next to it. That's why I had to add it to the list too. I didn't want to single that out as the oud, because Gucci Intense oud really does phenomenal off my skin as well. This one has a little bit more brightness than the Versace Oud Noir. The Versace Oud Noir has this sour bitterness about it with this hint of spice that really adds a different nuance to this. This doesn't have so much of that spicy element. This has more of a brightness, a little bit more lively Oud that gives a different presence to it. So for me, that one is more, the Versace is more of a date night kind of situation. This personally, I can wear in the afternoon or a little sundown action. It doesn't have to be something that's strictly date night. It has a little bit more versatility than the Oud Noir. The Oud Noir is phenomenal, but this one also is a nasty motherfucker next one. This one, you just buy it and keep it in your collection. There's very few people that I know of that don't like this fragrance because you're insane if you don't like this leather beauty masterpiece, the king of the flippy top. CH Man Privé. <laughs> if there's ever any certified ball spray that will remain on the list until I die, which might be today because I gotta take a shit, it's that good. It's gone up in price. You used to be able to bag this joint up in the $50, $60. Right now, you'd be lucky to find this joint under 70 stones. It's crazy. The secondary market has really abused this shit because a lot of us content creators share the same opinion. This shit is certified. Mm, next one. Something about this one in particular, even though it has a couple of flankers already, is just perfect for me. Dior Sauvage Elixir is it. For some reason, I get this coffee ground brightness out of this fragrance, followed by that cinnamony kind of spiciness. And of course, you get the lavender and the grapefruit aspect, just like the other ones. But this is just... This hits phenomenal off the skin. The performance is outstanding. I feel that the more that it's sat on myself and aged, the better in performance it's gotten, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's a maceration thing or proper temp. I don't know what it is, but it's progressively gotten better and just feels like it's it's just aged into this beautiful scent that comes off the skin that reduces that, that childish immaturity of the, of the original fragrances that I get into this gorgeous designer fragrance that really deserves all the props that it gets. Elixir, certified ball sprayer. And last, certainly not least, the Iris King of the World, AKA that bottom of the makeup bag, AKA sexy, AKA super hard to find if you're in the US. We're talking about Dior Om. Parfum. Look at the color. Look at the color of this fragrance. This is, it's a crazy fragrance. The powderiness that you get right off the nozzle is just like alluring. Come here and let's just do this. You know what I'm saying? Let me just, let me play with you. There's 5 million reviews of this shit on YouTube. Go watch them all. They're going to share the same energy. This joint is phenomenal. Date, night, ball sprayer certified. If you plan to get butt at the end of the night on a brisk September or October day, you need to take this top off like so. Spread the legs and spray from the asshole straight up to the nutsack. 
because she's going to be doing that landing strip justice. Her tongue might accidentally slip and hit your ass and then you might feel some type of way and be like, ooh, this is the type of vibe. I'm telling you, this is phenomenal. 10, certified ball spraying designer fragrances, black bottle edition. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. You can let me know your favorite 10 certified ball sprays and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Which one of these am I gonna wear today? Hmm. Yeah. Why not? Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, snow attack when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>